Direct News TV. June 7, 2024. Israel's War on Gaza Live, More Than 36,700 Killed in Eight Months of War. Gaza's health ministry says 77 people have been killed and 221 were wounded in the enclave during the latest 24-hour reporting period. Israeli airstrikes on a United Nations-operated school sheltering displaced Palestinians in central Gaza have killed at least 40 people. Israel's army says Hamas fighters were also in the shelter. Attacks on UN facilities emblematic of the war on Gaza, says UNRWA. Sam Rose, UNRWA Director of Planning, says the attack on New Sirat on Thursday occurred on protected premises under international law. It's critical that all parties to the conflict respect the humanitarian character of our premises. It's not the first time Israel targeted an UNRWA facility but we hope and we pray it'll be the last but the way this war is going we fear that it won't be, Rose told Al Jazeera. Rose added that the organization are witnessing unprecedented levels of attacks on UN protected premises. I think this is just emblematic of the unprecedented nature and scale and horror of this conflict. We've seen similar incidents in conflicts in the past, but, they've been terrible, they've been tragic, and they've led to civilian casualties, but not on this scale. IRC concerned by new report finding famine underway in northern Gaza. The International Rescue Committee, IRC, says it is deeply concerned by a report by the Famine Early Warning Systems Network which indicates that famine is likely underway in northern Gaza. The fact that the conflict and humanitarian access constraints have impeded collection of the data required for an official classification is emblematic of the nearly impossible constraints that aid agencies are operating under, the IRC said on X. We know from experience around the world, that once famine is declared, it is too late for too many. We need unimpeded access to fully assess and meet humanitarian need, and a permanent ceasefire to prevent further loss of life and enable the release of all hostages. Israeli bombing kills, injures Palestinians in Zytown. A number of Palestinians have been killed and injured in Israeli bombing that targeted a house near Al Shama Mosque in the Zytown neighborhood of Gaza City, our colleagues on the ground report. Canadian police used tear gas to disperse protesters. Canadian riot police were filmed using tear gas and pepper spray to disperse anti-Gaza war protesters gathered at McGill University in Montreal, New Zealand to begin annual payments to UNRWA. New Zealand announces that it will make its annual payment of $1 million to UNRWA in the coming days. This follows careful consideration of the UN's response, including through external and internal investigations, to serious allegations against certain UNRWA staff being involved in the October 7 terrorist attacks on Israel, Winston Peters, New Zealand's foreign minister, said on X. It also reflects assurances received from the UN Secretary-General about remedial work underway to enhance UNRWA's neutrality. PRCS says field hospital operating after relocation to Mawesai Kanyanis. The Palestine Red Crescent Society says the operation of its Al-Quds field hospital has begun after relocating from the Mawesai Rafa area to the Mawesai Kanyanis area. Houthi al-Masirah TV, US UK strikes on Yemen's Hodeida. Al-Masirah TV, the main television news outlet run by Yemen's Houthi movement, says that US and British forces carried out four air attacks on the airport of Hodeida and the seaport of Salif, to the north. Israeli forces seize private Palestinian land in Hebron. The Israeli forces have seized privately owned Palestinian land in Hebron, occupied West Bank, under the pretext of appropriation orders, Palestinian Wafa news agency reports. Head of the Colonization and Wall Resistance Commission, Minister Muayyad Shaban, told Wafa the orders are aimed at expanding Route 60, in Hebron, for Israeli settlers. Shaban said Israel exploits the pretexts of infrastructure rehabilitation and road development as a tool to stifle Palestinian presence and disconnect villages and towns in all Palestinian areas, the report said. He slammed the measures as serious violations of international humanitarian law. Attacks on us linked businesses rattle Baghdad as anger over Gaza war surges. U.S. food brands are the targets of attacks in Baghdad, Iraq, 
as anger surges against the U.S. for its staunch support for Israel as the death toll rises from its war on Gaza. Following the outbreak of the war in October, a coalition of Iran-backed groups launched dozens of attacks on bases housing U.S. troops in Iraq and eastern Syria. The attacks stopped in February following a series of retaliatory U.S. strikes after a drone hit a base in Jordan that killed three American soldiers. But the current change in tactics from the groups occurring in Iraq from late May to earlier this week is intended to reinforce the anti-US sentiment over its backing to Israel. Besides restaurants, a Caterpillar company store, a construction manufacturer, was targeted. Last week, protesters carrying Palestinian and Iraqi flags also marched to the PepsiCo offices outside of Baghdad, chanting no to agents and no to Israel. US, Egypt, Israel failed to agree on PA role on Rafah crossing. US, Egyptian and Israeli officials failed to make progress about reopening the Rafah crossing after Israel rejected the Palestinian Authority, PA, as having a role in operating the Gaza side, Axios reported citing four US and Israeli officials. The crossing has remained closed since Israel expanded its military operations into Rafah, near the crossing with Egypt. Egypt has refused to open the crossing on its side until the Gaza side is back under Palestinian control. During a meeting of Israel's security cabinet, Netanyahu said, according to two sources, he doesn't agree with the PA taking up any role at the crossing. However, one of the sources told Axios that Netanyahu's comments had come in contradiction to a policy that the war cabinet had approved days earlier that Israel would agree to any government entity other than Hamas to run the crossing. Bengver says humanitarian aid that enters Gaza must be reduced. Israel's far-right National Security Minister Itamar Bengver has urged the prevention of fuel entry and reduction of humanitarian aid reaching the Gaza Strip. Israel should withhold fuel from Gaza and reduce the humanitarian aid that enters the Strip, the Israeli minister said on X. Israel should only declare humanity in exchange for humanity, but we will not agree to a deal that would jeopardize the future of the state of Israel, he said. Israeli settlers set fire to agricultural lands east of Ramallah. Israeli settlers have set fire to agricultural lands in the village of Barka, east of Ramallah in the occupied West Bank, an Al Jazeera correspondent reports. Dozens of Israeli settlers who descended from the illegal Adarot settlement participated in a march near the Rawabi roundabout north of Ramallah, waving Israeli flags, Palestinian Wafa news agency reported. Israeli forces have set up a military checkpoint near the Rawabi roundabout, preventing Palestinian vehicles from entering or exiting to secure the march, the report said. On Thursday, settlers in the town of Kusra, near Nablus, cut down olive and citrus trees owned by Palestinians. My name is Kingsley. Please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be the first to be notified whenever we post you won't regret it.